Hello, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to Team of the Season versus Sweat. Tots versus Sweat in the French League 1. Now, uh, over the past few days, EA released a bunch of Team of the Seasons for us. We have had the Ligue 1, the Serie A, the Turkish League and the rest of the world. I mean, they're really throwing them, throwing them at us this week and I'm trying to catch up and do as best as I can. Today's episode is powered by my sponsor Elgato Gaming and the HD60S Capture Card. If you guys are looking for 60 frames a second, no delay, all of that great stuff in your capture card, then make sure you look no further than the Elgato. There'll be a link down below in the description for you guys to pick one up if you'd like. Okay, so heading on into the video then, we start with the goalkeeper, of course. He doesn't count towards the battle that we're having on Tots versus Sweat. Um, so I've gone for the 82 rated trap. You know, pretty average standard goalkeeper. Uh, in hindsight, what I think I would have, should have done, should have, would have, could have, I don't know, uh, is go for the 92 rated team of the season, Rufier, because the guy's like 30,000 coins, which is absolutely nuts. However, our first battle is between the left back and the right back. Right back being Aurier, he is very strong and very quick. And then the left back being team of the season, uh, Sidibi, who has got 81 pace, 85 defending, and some all, ar all around quite good stats across the board. Now we move into the centre-back spots and, uh, well, David Luiz is about as sweaty as it gets in my opinion. I know he's a higher rated player, um, but when you think of a sweaty centre-back on the game, I reckon about a lot of the time, uh, a lot of you would probably think David Luiz. He's one of those overpowered, very strong players on the game. He's up against Tots Umtiti. Uh, and then we have got our left mid and right mid. For the sweat side of things, we've got Alessandrini. He is so quick. So low rated and he's got good dribbling and stuff like that. And then we've got Buffal, team of the season out on the left hand side. Really wanted to include him today. He's a 5 star skiller, 86 rated, looks like a great interesting player. Now in the middle of the midfield we've got Taliso, who has got some really well rounded stats. And I think is always the central feature of a sweat team if I come up against a league on team. Uh, and then Undoy who has got crazy crazy stats. Including 95 physical, which is absolutely immense. Um, and then we've got some pretty good strikers uh, up front. We've got Bovu, who I know is like a transfer card now. But he's 79 rated with 89 pace. He is definitely a sweaty player. Uh, and then we've got team of the season, Ben Yedda. Someone I've wanted to use for a long time. He was in a squad the other day that I did. Uh, and I needed to use him again. Because as you guys know, if you've been following me for a while now... Ben Yedda on FIFA this year is just one of my favourite players for sure. One absolute god he is. So this squad is relatively affordable, I guess. It's uh, it's one of the cheaper sets of team of the seasons. If you don't buy the madnesses like, you know, Ibra, Di Maria. Uh, it's around 300k this particular squad. And um, I keep scoring goals like that. And I keep conceding goals like that. I don't know about you guys. But it's really frustrating when you've worked really hard. You get through with that player that you want to get a good goal with for a clip. And then the goalie saves it, it gets parried out and your CDM manages to score the goal or something stupid like that. That's what's been happening to me a lot lately. Um, and I was just realising a reason why I'm getting so very stressed at this game lately. And I think it's because I just haven't had any easy games. In like the last three weeks, every single game I've been going into has just been effort like mad effort everyone's been on at least the same level as me so it's a struggle to get a win lovely goal some great dribbling by Buffal here by the way what a finish that was um but yeah everyone's either been on the same level as me or they've been better so I've been losing more games than I normally would have uh, and the games that I've been winning well it's been an absolute slog to to, to get the three points or whatever it is um that means I've been scoring less goals. You know, gone are the days for me where I've been beating people 5 0 or something. I don't know what's happened to those guys. Um, maybe they've got to the point this year where they don't want to play anymore. I don't know. But everyone I'm playing, I'm either sort of getting into extra time and then winning 1 0 or winning like 3 2 or something like that. So it's a little bit stressful, a little bit frustrating. Um, but you know what? Eventually I get enough clips for my videos and that's how and that's how we progress. It's just taking me longer and it feels like I'm a less productive person for that. Um, which is definitely a reason towards being so like frustrated and, and it gets you down definitely because when you're not working as productively and as efficiently as you think you could be definitely gets you down but anyway we've moved slightly off topic uh you've been seeing the goals that have been going on in the background uh what do you think of them what do you think of some of the, the goals that we've scored it was quite a well uh, across the board type of goals i got a couple with undoy 
Copper with Buffal. Uh, what else have we got? Goals with both uh, Bovu. He was actually really good. I like him a lot. Um, is he better than Benyera? I'm not quite sure. However, I did really enjoy Bovu. And actually, he, feel, he felt so very quick. He was actually the one player I've used in the last couple of weeks. Which really felt like he could burst past defenders. Um... Uh, which is great, you know, you need that from time to time. Ben Yedda is, he's something else. I i really like him. Uh, he's definitely a player I want to do a footwiz player review on. And that will be coming in the next couple of days. It might even be today's player review. So go and click in that top corner, the card up there. Sub to the footwiz channel. There will also be an annotation on screen. Um, because the more in-depth review on Ben Yedda will be coming out a little bit later today. Um, but there's some mixed opinions about him. But I still really like him. I think he does a good job. But maybe just mm, goes missing a little bit from time to time. As I said, we'll talk way more in depth about him over on the Footwiz channel. But it's time to give my review on some people. And let's see if Tots beats Sweat or if Sweat beats Tots in the league. Uh, Trap in goal was actually quite good. But as I said, would recommend Rufier if you've got the 30k. Um, Sidibi versus Aurier. Now it's a tough one because they both did a pretty good job. Um, but I always rely on Aurier to be one of the better players on this game. And I think he's a great one. So he wins for me. Sweat goes 1-0 up. I think Sweat's going to go 2-0 up as well right here. Because although Umtiti was quite good, David Luiz is something else on this game. He's really solid at the back. Uh, and he actually can push forward as well sometimes, which is quite useful. So Sweat goes 2-0 up right now. And now we need to battle it out in the centre of midfield. And there is a clear winner for me. Undoy was awesome. I really like this team of the season player. Apart from his pace, he's a member of the 80 plus club. And he's got that 95 physical. So he claws a point back for team of the season. It is now 2-1 to sweat. And let's equalise that, shall we? Because I really love Buffal. He was an incredible Tots player. Probably... Wasted a little bit out on the left mid spot. If you use him at left wing or left forward, he is going to do work for you. And Alessandrini was definitely vacant in this squad. Um, so we even it up at two all. And it's time to choose a winner. It's a tough one. But I think Ben Yedda edges it for me. Like I scored more goals with Ben Yedda. I like his style better. Like the four star skill, five star weak foot type of thing. And I just think he is a really solid little player. An absolute gem on this game this year. Uh, even his non-rare, if you can't afford this one, his non-rare first original card is just so ridiculously good. Um, and for me, he beats he beats the sweat of Bovu. So, uh, Tots comes out on top this week in a 3-2 win in the French League gun, um, which... I wasn't expecting to happen. When I was looking at those sweat players earlier, uh, before I used the team, I thought, you know what, we're going to trounce them because they just look so ridiculously sweaty and like they were going to be overpowered and really useful and stuff. But I guess it wasn't the case. Um, maybe the best thing to do is something like what I've done, but maybe mix it around a little bit more. Use a few of the gem tots players, like the ones that are better going forwards, and then just use the sweatier, more reliable players at the back, um, such as David Luiz and Aurier. So, thank you for watching today's video. If you have enjoyed, I'd really appreciate it. If you could, smash a like on the video. That would be awesome. Uh, and of course, subscribe to my channel if it is the first of my videos that you've seen. Have a great day, and I will catch you tomorrow, I think with another episode of Tots vs Sweat, but this time, it will be in the Serie A. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.